Here is a J30A1. You'll notice that's the front of the engine, the time and belt side. And then this is the back of the engine with the throttle body pointed towards the back. Um, and what you're wanting to do is flip the intake. So I'll show you how to do that. What you do is you remove the intake. And then after you remove the intake, you have access to your runners. Now your EGR port comes from this side. What you'll want to do, you'll take your bolts out and you'll remove your lower runners like that. This is bank one over here, this is bank two over here. And you'll notice that is the same as this as far as shape goes. Um, so you'll want to plug that down there to keep it from uh, sucking air. I don't know if you can tell or not, but that goes to right over in here. <clears throat> it's pretty open down through there. Um, but what you'll do, you'll plug that. Some people, you might could plug it on this side, but your timing cover's in the way, and that's really involved unless you have your engine all torn down. Um, but it's best to take your, take that and plug it. Weld it, JB weld, silicone. And then you put it on the front. And you flip this one around. You put it on the back. You'll put an EGR block off on that right there. And now you have that to where that's pointed towards the front. And then you can take your intake. and put it right down on there like that so that your throttle body now points towards the front.